Uh, my face cam was stuck for a pretty good majority of the review. Sometimes I open OBS and like I don't expect it to be like that, you know, so sorry. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Andre Shevchenko to check out. Uh, probably going to be the first usable version of Shev Shevchenko we've ever had in FIFA, to be honest with you, because all the other versions, uh, kind of like a Rui Costa, not good, right? So uh, we have... The new version here, who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, five star skills, four star weak foot. By default, probably a card that I want to play in a two striker lineup more than anything, probably in the right striker position specifically. But let's take a look at how this card is actually formatted in game, right? So he's got finesse shot, long shot, taker, power, free kick, speed, dribbler, in game attributes. He's a little strangely formatted. A little bit. I kind of want to just leave the basic on him. But at the same time, 95 acceleration. Would you give him a hawk? And then work with the dribbling as it is. Hmm. I think I just leave the basic on him for now. I want to, I want to see what I want the most. What's Shevchenko's body type? I don't think it's like great, is it? Let's see. Andre Shevchenko. Average body type. Okay, so average with mid-90s for dribbling. Honestly, I don't know what the previous versions were like because I never use those cards because, honestly, you can give me the card in the beginning of the year. I probably wouldn't use it. Um, but this card, obviously, with the improvements, is definitely nice. Basic doesn't look horrible because it gives nice boosts in certain areas, right? Like agility here, ball control, dribbling. Like, by default, I wanted to give an engine just because of the pace, dribbling, and passing boost while already working with mid-90s for shooting. Um, I feel like the boost for that is more relevant, but then the basic also gives a little bit of physical boost too. So it depends, you know, a situation like this, like if the car doesn't dribble a certain way on a Hawk, then you just kind of like go, you work with that, right? Guys, dribbling for me is a really big deal, but obviously in this game, people are trigger merchants anyway. So they're just going to use the pace and just kind of run for the most part. So it's not really that big of a deal, but I like to build up my play. So sometimes if the dribbling is not up to par, it is a little bit annoying to work with, right? But it could be decent on him. I'm just not sure, right? Because he is six foot at an average body type, which makes me want to work with his physical stuff a little bit more. Um, yeah, he's got 98 heading accuracy, physicals there couple of interesting stuff. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try out the card and see how he plays. Bro, this is uh, all Hilal team, man. These guys got money. They're trying to get Mitrovic after Neymar. Like, these guys got money, bro. Let me tell you. I always want to try that, but that's not the right finish. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but I have like an, an innate nature, uh, like this thing in me where I'm like, I got to show people how bad the finesse is. Like, it's just not ideal. But, you know, we do do. Woo! We do do. <laughs> All right, let's go and give this to him. Pass it off. Pass it close. Bang. Oop. Go back. Go back again. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he stops playing. And I can't even... Oh, oh, win. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy's just wasting my time, man. People are so weird in this game, man. I'm telling you guys, we're all the time. There's no other game in this world that will have people that will actively waste your time. He plays, he drops his controller. He plays, he drops his controller. Like, oh my goodness, man. Every time I have loans, people always want to be the biggest losers in the world. Like, it's so annoying. Oh, I think he used manual goalkeeping there. There we go. Give me that. Vamos, Shevchenko. Vamos. Well, it very clearly has a high, high work rate, for sure. Just from the movement there, you can see it, right? That's why two striker is usually ideal, because you get this. And I score. Nice. Manual goalkeeping again. Oh, 
Oh, of course, Roberto Carlos gets it with the back of his leg. Oh, nice try, nice try. Got to do the extra pass there, usually, but I like to try the shots during the reviews. Ooh, defensive play. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, you know? At L1 Alaska, do the a doozy. Shevchenko. Come, come. Come to me, my friend. Oh, he knows, he knows. Oh, there it is. Andre Shevchenko, the first usable version of this car we've ever had in FIFA. Because I'm pretty sure the other ones are usually pretty trash. I think we had like what, like an icon moments back in the day, maybe, but like no one uses that card. Like these cards are way more usable. Nice. And nothing. Gotta put more power behind that one. First time shot. Oh, deflection. Nothing. It took a while there. I had to do the uh, the skill ones because they tracked back quick enough there. So. I got a green, but I'm going to be special at long shots. So it's good to try out. Oh, I didn't register the, um, you guys know when I reviewed the footies Mbappe, I tried to do like that quick L trigger shield touch thing. Couldn't do it there with Shevchenko. Usually the case with the average body type, like it's going to be inconsistent. Like sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. There we go. We'll take that. It's a good finish. Yeah, so uh, as usual with the average body type, you got to be mindful of that. Because, um, you know, you'll do like small turns and stuff like and you have to be mindful of where you're turning because they, they'll do an emphasis on it, right? Off by me? Yeah, it was. I do the flick because I want to get that angle just to shoot right away, right? But... Your post. Oh, that goes over his leg. That's good. That's good. That's good. We'll take that. Woo! Is it down? There we go. Makes the run. Oh, nothing. I was trying to do a bicycle kick, actually. But uh, it's going to be weird for it to register in that kind of area. Oh, that's more in the middle, eh? Hmm, on a green too. Oh. Ah, too much power. I didn't get the green either. Green, maybe I actually get... Oh, I thought I missed. I'm like, please, bro, please. Please, bro, please. Oh, wow. He was falling, but he still got it, eh? This guy's like, nah, bro, I still got it, Famski. Don't worry. Brilliant performance so far. 
Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Try to do a. Uh, you could even watch my controller there. I, I do a left stick touch and then I do a skill move and didn't register, so. Rodrigo. Try to do a let there. I don't, I don't know. I do be trying. So half an hour remaining. Shevchenko being egged on by the crowd. Oh, man. Well, it's good that he's um, quick to move into space once I make the pass. That's great. White time strike. Hit into the middle. What's his finishing stats? Because I'm noticing a consistent pattern here at the middle. So he would have to have like a hawk or something, right? Let me see. 97. Basic doesn't improve that. Dribbling feels a certain way anyways. Yeah, probably have to give him a hawk anyways. Top class defending. Ooh. So you see the animation slow down, right? Because the average, like it's it's usually the consistent things, right, with these cards. But it's okay. You just got to get used to that when it comes to striking the ball. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Wonderful chance. Green time. I don't score that. Yeah, so like I said, I noticed the shooting being a little bit um, strange sometimes. So that's why it makes me want to give him like a hawk. Like even if it's an extra plus two, uh, it's kind of like necessary for him in my opinion. Ten minutes to go then. Shevchenko, it should be. He must be. Sorry, I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't register my roulette right there. Uh, that's why I like reacted a bit. <laughs> He's not playing, so I might as well try a power strike, you know? Over the bar on the white. You know what I was thinking about uh, today, guys? Are you going to leave? I rest my case, guys. I don't, I'm not even going to bring up the point I was going to mention, because I just... I rest my case. I rest my case. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Shevchenko card. I mean, we got enough footage for the card, even though all five players left and all of them just wanted to waste my time. And they see a lone card like, oh, we're just going to leave just because uh, we can, because that's our community that we... <laughs> Not our community, that's the people that play this game, because you have to be a certain way to play this game, like I mentioned in the Ryan's video. Anyways, this card joins the uh, category of Rui Costa, right? That's what it is, because uh, with these types of cards, guys, they are... Cards that EA release as SBCs that are going to be usable versions of themselves, right? So if EA were to have released, uh, you know, any sort of Portuguese player, like let's say, for instance, they released a card like this and it was like Pauleta from back in the day, right? I'm doing the SBC for that reason. For people that want to actually use these icons in a usable manner, that's what these SBCs are for, right? I think the only one that could be like higher in the meta tiers like, Ronaldinho is the obvious one, of course, right? Beckham is the uh, the other one. So I'm pretty sure Beckham was on a, on a on the face of FIFA as well. If they randomly, imagine they just randomly put in, like, an Edgar Davids or something. That'd be kind of crazy, too. I'm trying to think of anybody else. I think Gattuso had a card, too, man. I think Gattuso was on a cover. I, I just remember him <sighs> with, like, the black and the red stripes, AC Milan shirt. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but I remember that, too. Shevchenko is definitely there. Wayne Rooney got his card. But yeah, that's what the promo is all about, right? It's kind of like just like it's it's cool because they're not releasing them for like a crazy price because we are literally getting flooded with fodder right now. We're getting flooded with it. OK, completely flooded with it. And these cards are usable, guys. Guys, listen, listen to what I'm going to tell you. OK, just because I don't list a card in a certain tier doesn't mean they're not going to be good to use, right? Like I said, this card is not an S star. It's not an S. It's not an A star. 
but it's still an A tier card. An A tier card is the very minimum a usable card. You need to have at least an A tier card, right? Because they gave him the skill moves in this game. If people park the bus, you use the skill moves to get past people with the L1 elasticals. You guys know how that works, right? For the most part, um, the shooting, in my opinion, if you end up using this card because you want to, right? You have to be mindful. He's an average body type player. You can't really change the dribbling cap capabilities of the card, even if you give him like a basic chemistry style. So you have to utilize a lot of L1 dribbling. I would recommend giving him the Hawk because you give him that physical boost to work with his physical attributes at an average body type six foot height while giving him the pace boost as well. It just makes more sense. Uh, you make your finishing a tad bit more consistent as well um, because, you know, obviously in this game, you got a green time. Sometimes it can be inconsistent based off the gameplay. You guys know the vibes, right? So that's kind of like the point of these cards uh to just release usable versions of them right because like i said if you gave me a card like this and it was like pauletta i'm using the card for the rest of the year you know what i'm saying like for 150k it's fine to release a card like this uh and it stays like these cards are actually going to be pretty usable so if you're building some sort of like past and present ac milan squad chelsea squad like that type of deal uh shevchenko will be pretty cool to use in those ways because he's actually gonna be pretty usable like i said though i always i always tell you guys this because it's never really special with these types of cards when it is a high, high work rate of card, I really recommend, for the most part, to play in a two-striker lineup. It just makes more sense because of the way that they're attacking AI generally moves across the pitch, okay? So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.